Around 950 BC, at the height of the Kingdom of Israel, a great temple was built by King Solomon to worship their great god, Yahweh. The temple was rumored to have been built on the holy site where Abraham was tested by God and possibly where the first man, Adam, was created. The temple was a symbol of God's presence, but as the Jewish people turned away from God, God turned away from them, and the Babylonians destroyed the temple in 587 BC. Years later, in 516 BC, after the rise of the Persian Empire, the Jews were allowed to head back and rebuild the temple. But it never reached the grandeur of the past, and in 70 AD, after a rebellion against the Romans, the temple was destroyed completely. 600 years later, Judea was now in the hands of the Caliphates, and on the site which the temple stood, a mosque was built. The Dome of the Rock is the third most important site in Islamic tradition, after Mecca and Medina. For Christians, the site is also a holy site, possibly the second or third after Golgotha and some other sites such as Bethlehem, or maybe even the Vatican for Roman Catholics. But to the Jews, the Temple Mount is the holiest of holies. Here are three reasons why the dome will be destroyed. Muslims expect the destruction of the temple. If you don't believe me, look at the hundreds of videos on YouTube saying that the Islamic Antichrist will destroy the temple. Many Islamic Imams believe that the Antichrist will be a Jewish man who will destroy the dome and rebuild the temple. Because of this, many Muslims are actively watching for the destruction of the dome. This is not to say that they want the dome destroyed, as it is an important site as Muslims believe that the dome is where the Prophet Muhammad visited heaven from. Many Christians want the dome to be destroyed. Christians believe that before Christ returns, the temple must be rebuilt. And certain denominations have been actively praying for the destruction of the dome. One leader even said that when Saddam was firing scuds at Israel, he was praying one would veer off target and blew up the Dome of the Rock. Devout Jews want to build a new temple. Since the temple was destroyed in 70 AD, Jews have been unable to really practice their religion, as so much of it revolved around the temple. The temple was the only place that they could offer sacrifices and make atonements for sins. So not having a temple has been a massive blow for the Jewish community. Because of this, Jewish communities have been making active plans through the Temple Society to rebuild the temple should the dome collapse. The Society has also been working on breeding animals for sacrifice and have gathered all of the items necessary to furnish the new third temple. Well, this is all fine and good, but how would the dome be destroyed? Here are four ways. Extremists may destroy the temple by accident. Jerusalem is well known to have been a target for a number of extremist plots, rocket attacks, etc, etc. And a misfired bomb could easily destroy the dome. War could destroy the temple. Israel has been in multiple wars since its conception and has ended up a target, for instance by the Iraqis during other people's wars. At the minute, the war in Syria involves numerous ballistic missiles which could easily be fired at Israel. Extremists may destroy the temple on purpose. Rumors have stated that there is a plot to undermine the foundation of the dome to destroy it but there is also the possibility of destruction by other means. And finally, an earthquake might destroy the dome. 
The dome has already been severely damaged and almost destroyed by earthquakes in the past, making this a distinct possibility. Whatever happens, it seems clear that the dome will become a self-fulfilling prophecy, and it will be destroyed somehow. But the building of a new temple on the site is a different story. What are your thoughts? Do you think the dome will be destroyed? And how? And do you think the Jewish people should build a new temple? We may do more videos on the topic in the future, so stay tuned for more. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the show, why not support us on Patreon? As well as sharing on sites like Reddit, Facebook and Twitter. We appreciate all the support and look forward to seeing you next time here on Well Actually.